Well, they are the men behind the famous voices that promote your favourite TV shows, whether it's television or the silver screen. Their golden tones are in high demand by producers. It's big business, but for the voiceover men, it's all in a day's work. For one extraordinary reason. They're back. Let's go, boys. Enough said. With a new look. The most phenomenal discovery of our time. To Jurassic Park. In a world where big budget movies and small screen epics live or die by their promos, one man is king, the voiceover man. This is a story that started 65 million years ago. It's the one you dare not miss. The show that will ignite your lounge room. Coming up next on Boomerang, it's the Scooby-Doo Mysteries. You will believe these three brave Aussies are making a killing by doing nearly nothing at all. It's kind of a dream come true job for me because I was a high school mimic. Boo Winkle Mooth here saying, forgot my line. Keith Scott looks like just any other guy, but sounds a million dollars. That colossus cartoon company, Hanna-Barbera, say he's worth every cent. I was doing Yogi Bear and uh, 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 Mr. Jinx, who I uh, remember the miserable nieces, Pixie and Dixie, and I was doing all of those sort of characters. And then it, it was only after that that I started um, doing dialects, ac accents and character voices. Next thing I know is they asked me to read Jurassic Park and that was my career made. Voiceovers, thank you, God. Jurassic Park. 65 million years in the making. Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. Make the hair stand on end, huh? <laughs> Nick Tate, the super voice who shot for the stars in the US of A. You don't have to look your best and they pay you a lot of money. <laughs> I have done it in my, uh, in my pajamas. This is a story that... I was number three in America for quite a while with those big movies. And yeah, we get paid more than the President of the United States of America. Take one. In a world where laughter was king. Uh, no in a world, Jack. They're anonymous voices making big bucks. In an outpost. No. On the edge of space. But sometimes hauntingly bizarre. Howard Gibbs and Nick Tate in the Garden of Eden. Garden of Eden? Yes, Howard. Use your imagination. Email has made this obsolete. Howard? To many, this seems just like an ordinary Thai restaurant. But if you hear only one other voiceover this year, make it this one. One day he decided, hey, I need more money for my motor racing. So he became a voiceover man. Less time, less effort, and more money. Ken Sparks, the Nine Network's Mega Mouth. He was the one man that could take one word and create it into an entire three-volume book. So you think you're man enough to handle this job? Just try it. Drink scotch whiskey and, and, and smoke cigars and scream into the wind until you've got no voice left. And that's why I wound up with a voice like this. We're not just going to move over. None of us are going to say, oh, gee, you've got a great voice. Here, have my clients. No, you've got to go out there and earn it. And you've got to, you've got to go through the hard yards. And all of us have done it. I can't even imagine not doing this, you know. Uh, I think I was, I was just doomed to do this. When the storm hit, both our cars were totally underwater. In a world where both of our cars were totally underwater. Now the king of this dark art, American Don LaFontaine, is so famous, he now collects monster paychecks for appearing in those ads that he voices. So we had our check in two days. Payback. This time, it's for real. So what do they do for kicks over there? Well, they get together, hire a limo, and go to some award ceremony. It's going to be the white-knuckle thrill ride of the year. For some, it's a night of unending suspense and terror. Sir, are we going to the awards now? Not yet. Now. 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 Hello, world. That's all, folks. Great. Going to work in your pyjamas doesn't sound all bad, does it? Keep working on the voice, by the way, Howard. Howard Gibbs there. And American Don LaFontaine earns more than a million dollars a year for his voiceover work.